Hi everyone, this is Sandy Reese with StampaCrew.com. I'm an independent Stampin' Up! demonstrator. Thanks for joining me for another video tutorial. Let me see, I don't have my paper uh, centered here. Um, so like I said on Thursday, we're doing um, black and white cards or white cards with a pop of color. So today our pop of color is black. So we're going to do a very pretty sympathy card using our note cards and envelopes. And I'll pull one right here. We've got, um, these are three and a half by five. So these are the smallest size that you can mail. But they're really great because they're small. You don't have to do a whole lot of decorating. Just a little focal point is perfect on these um, sweet little cards. Okay, so I've got um, just kind of a big scrap piece. We're gonna do some die cutting. I have a piece of black, and then I have a front panel that's three and a quarter by four and three quarters, and I've already die cut a circle. What I want to do is just create like a window right here, and then we're going to put some white die cuts inside. So my sentiment we're using is from the So Sincere stamp set. This is in the holiday mini catalog. This will be gone after um, the beginning of January. So if you like this one, you wanna make sure you get it. It's got lots of sentiments, 11 different sentiments in here. And then the dies that I'm gonna be using are the meadow dies. So this has lots of great little silhouette flowers and stems, and I'm going to use these two today, the one with the smaller, it's a small card, so we're gonna do some, some of the smaller pieces. So let's grab our stamp and cut and emboss machine, and let's do a little die cutting. I'm actually gonna do two of those, and I think I'm just doing one of these. Let's get these cut. Sometimes you just give it a flick, or if it's not coming out, just grab your pick tool and there's little holes in the dies where you can get it started. Okay, there's one. And we're gonna do a second one here. I just wanna get this started. Okay. And we'll do this one going this direction. Make sure we get that straight. And probably one time is enough to go through here and get this cut, but I don't know. I always like to go uh, forwards and then back, back out. Make sure we get a nice strong cut on that. Okay. go. Okay, so we have our two floral stems and then one kind of tall leafy stem. All right, let's bring these in. Let's do our stamping first. So we're just using the Memento uh, Tuxedo Black and I'm doing, you're in my um, heart and prayers. I'm going to just stamp this right in the center just like that. Isn't that pretty? It's such a pretty sentiment and um, font on that one. Okay, now I want to glue my black here and we're going to do a frame so I just want to make sure it's down far enough. So that it's not going to show. All right. Now we're going to glue these um, before we pop this up. So I'm going to glue them inside, but I want them kind of coming out from the bottom. So we're just gonna stick this up here like this. I think I'm gonna do this one right about here. They're a little bit long, so we can trim off the extra. We don't need that. So let's, this is where our liquid glue is gonna come in real handy. So we're just putting a little bit of liquid glue on the front 
where it's going to glue behind the front of our panel. And then I'm going to take just a dab on these two leaves, just a teeny bit, and just glue that down so it's so it doesn't catch on anything. All right, we're going to do the same thing for this one. We're going to put this one in the middle and it's going to be tall. Okay, it doesn't go too far down so we can just glue our stem. It's going to overlap right here. Just a little bit of overlap right on this one, just the tip. Let's put a little glue just to hold that in place. Whoops, stuck to my finger. Okay, and if you want, you can put a little bit of glue here to stick to this one. You don't have to, but I would just put a little dab. Okay, my fingers are gluey already. All right, now I want to do just a little bit over here. I don't need this full flower though, so I'm gonna cut off I think I'm going to cut off this one right here. It's connected in two places, so I want to make this look like a full one. And then this is going to go in behind. Well, let's see, maybe we'll put it in front. It's just going to kind of fill in that big blank space right there. So let's trim this off. And hold it in place and do a little bit of gluing right there and bring this and it is just overlapping a hair on this side so we're gonna put just a tad of glue there and I don't even think I'm gonna mess with this one it's down far enough I think we'll be okay all right that's it that's all we have to do we're going to pop up this whole panel now. So I'm using my larger dimensionals since I'm doing a big panel. I'm going to put one right here to kind of support that since that's going to be a window with a little bit of with our black in the background. And then we need to get this centered on our card front. Got a little glue right there. Okay. There we go, isn't that beautiful? Now that is perfect just how it is, but if you wanna add a little bit of, of bling, I, I'm using the Iridescent Rhinestone Gems. I love these because these go with everything. They're clear, they kind of pick up the color of whatever you're doing. So um, I don't have a lot of space, so I think I'm just gonna do three small ones in here, just to add a little just a little sparkle, a little elegance to it. Let's do one there and we'll bring this one over here. I wanna make sure I get my placement before I push them down uh, to secure them so that I can move them if I want. And that's it, isn't that beautiful? And then you, there's not a huge space, but if you have another sentiment that you wanna put in there, you can do that or um, or just do your writing. So these are note cards and envelopes. I will put the measurements for everything on my blog. The link is below. Don't forget that our um, current, what is it? September to December mini catalog is gonna be retiring in just a couple of weeks. So um, you don't wanna miss out. The stamp set is in the mini catalog. I will post this on my blog as well. Um, and I think that's it. So I will see you all back here on Monday for another uh, white card with a pop of red this time. All right, I will see you then. Bye-bye.